all right what's up guys it's methodically here in today's video uh, i'm just going to be answering a few questions i've been getting on my youtube channel as well as my twitter dms now a lot of people have been saying that their pcs have been experiencing high fps drops and high input delay and it's just happened out of nowhere so uh, i'm just going to go over a few possible solutions that uh, helped me when i was in the same position as these people here I just want to start off by saying there's no one fix for just uh, your FPS issues or why your PC is struggling. It's like, say you have a vehicle and you have a problem with your engine, you can't just change a tire and then expect your car to start working again. I feel like that's the same thing with like PCs. You guys actually have to fix the actual issue if uh, you want your guys PC to be running smoothly again. So here I've just written down 7 possible solutions for you guys to try to see if it helps your guys case at all. So number 1 is just reinstall Windows 10. I'll put a video in the description. Uh, it's pretty much just a guide slash tutorial to teach you guys how to do it step by step. It takes about 10 minutes to do if you can follow basic instruction. It's super simple, super easy and it yields a lot of good results. So number two, the second reason that your PC might be struggling a bit is maybe you have your PC for about six months to a year and you're new to computers and you may not know that you actually need to clean your PC uh, out quite often. Especially if you are in a American slash English household. But if you live in the West, you'll most likely have carpet, so you'll probably have a lot more dust in your PC. So the way you can check is just open up your PC case. Look into your CPU fan, your GPU fan, your power supply fans, and just see if there's much dust in there. And if there is dust in there, you can buy a air in a can, and you can spray the dust out with uh, air. That way it gets better airflow in and out, and your PC will run a lot smoother. So that's the second possible reason. But you should just be cleaning your SPC in the first place anyway. Okay, uh, next one, NVIDIA driver. The general rule that I go by for NVIDIA drivers, if you have a 30 series card, uh, you can always just download the latest NVIDIA drivers. They'll work perfectly fine on your system. If you have a 20 series or below, anything from 2021 will work really good. Me personally, I use 512.95 on my 1660 and I get really good FPS and low input delay so really just test around and experience uh, what works well for your PC. Fourth possible reason is you guys are not shutting down or restarting your guys PC correctly or you may even have some sleep slash hibernation uh, options on. So uh, if you open up your taskbar right now just do this real quick go into your task manager if you guys have this layout, just select more details. Go to performance, and once you select CPU, you'll see here that it says uptime. Just check what your uptime is, and if it's ever over like 10 hours or like a day, make sure you guys just restart your guys' PC. Like actually restart, don't just shut it down and then turn it back on, like actually restart. I've seen people with uptimes of up to seven days to 10 days plus, and that is not good. You do not want that. So make sure you guys restart and shut down your guys' PC a decent amount. And part two of that is make sure you guys turn off the sleep slash hibernation options. So go into your settings, system, power and sleep, additional power options. And you select this left tab up here, change what the power buttons do, and then change settings that are currently unavailable. Make sure when you press the power button, it actually shuts down. Don't have hibernate on, don't have sleep on, and make sure you turn off fast startup. It says recommended, but uh, I'll put a picture on the screen of why you might not want to be using this option in the first place. Number five, Microsoft Store. So go into your Microsoft Store. There's just one setting that I want you guys to turn off because not many people know about it. Select the three dots. Go to settings and then turn off update apps automatically. You don't want that on. Okay, this is just basic, but not a lot of people know this. Don't download anything from YouTube, Twitter, Discord, especially anything to do with the low input lag or FPS boost packs. The only people you can really uh, download things from is if they are actually trustworthy or it comes from a reputable 
website or URL. So yeah, pretty much I'm just trying to say just don't be downloading anything sketchy. So if someone claims to have a FPS boost pack, don't just click it, like actually do some research on it. Like not everyone is out here for your best interests, so you guys need to take care. And the next one, background processes. So again, you can just right click your taskbar, go into task manager and select performance. Now in your CPU tab, you should see processes. I have 124 and I get about 130 to 140 when I'm playing any game. What I'm Basically what I'm saying is the lower amount of processes you have running in the background, the more FPS and less input delay that you guys will experience. So this number, you want it as low as possible. Uh, you can download custom OS and it would de-bloat your guys' windows so you have less things running in the background which will help. That's why a lot of people ran Windows 7 so there would be less Windows settings and programs running in the background. Uh, if you guys are curious about that or interested in it, definitely look it up and do some research on it because it might actually help you guys out a lot. If these things don't work or you have a better solution, please feel free to type it in the comment section below. I'm sure people would love whatever you have to say. So, my name is Methodically. Thanks for watching. Peace.